What is RSA? In this video, we would learn that RSA or Reversed Shamir Adelman is a public key crypto system that is widely used to secure data. The algorithm was first described by Ron Rivest, Adi Shami and Leonard Adelman in 1977 and it is known by the acronym made up of the first letters of the surnames of the creators. RSA uses public key cryptography. So, two different keys are used for encryption and decryption. The RSA algorithm involves four steps, key generation, key distribution, encryption and decryption. Let's say Alice wants to send an encrypted message to Bob. In order to do so, Bob firstly needs to generate an RSA key pair that consists of a private key and a public key. Bob then needs to share his public key with Alice. Please note that the private key must be kept secret and should never be shared. Alice can now encrypt a message using Bob's public key and send it to Bob. Bob can decrypt the message using his private key and read it. As Bob's private key is secret to Bob alone, no one other than Bob can decrypt and read the message. But how does the RSA algorithm work? Interested viewers, please refer to the book Cryptography and Public Key Infrastructure or visit the website of the security body. The relevant links are provided in the description. RSA can also be used for digital signatures. In our example, Alice can generate a hash of the message and digitally sign it using her private key. Bob can then verify the digitally signed message using the public key of Alice. As the private key of Alice is secret to Alice alone, Bob can be ensured that the message is indeed sent by Alice and it is unmodified after it is sent. And as long as the private key of Alice remains secret, Alice cannot claim later that she has not digitally signed the message. I hope this helps. Interested viewers who want to know more, please visit the website of the security body. The security body also provides many cyber security courses. The relevant links are provided in the description. You can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos.